Hi, it's Jeff. And Denise from MouseSteps.com. And this is episode number 28 of Mouse Steps Weekly. Sponsored by Theme Park Connection in Winter Garden, Florida. Not far from the Magic Kingdom and a great place to get some uh, Christmas gifts for your Disney fan. Uh, people I think they'd there. love it. And Maple Leaf Tickets. Our official ticket agency. Great deals on tickets for the holidays. And uh, it's been a very, very, very busy week. Very busy, <laughs> very busy week. week. We can't put everything in that we want. This is the castle lighting. Yes, Christmas has started here at uh, at Disney, and um, it's the castle lighting. The the actual first. This was the second castle lighting. Right, actually. the first one had a glitch, right. and it didn't all light up. But Cinderella was ever easy to please, or else she didn't want to hurt the fairy godmother's feelings, and still <laughs> said it was exactly how she wanted it to be, half lit. Half lit. <laughs> half lit indeed this show is called uh, cinderella's holiday wish right but cinderella doesn't really know that's her wish no. until three quarters of the way through the show but so then she says like she always dreamed it would be which obviously is only it's for a, a contradiction i think it somewhere <laughs> so this is actually night two of the castle lighting and at this night the castle lights fully <laughs> and there's a fairy godmother and you can see that when she points her wand it everything actually lights up right which so, is the way it's supposed to be but uh, I remember back in the day, back when this thing first started, what, what year was that? 2007, that's when I started Mouse Steps. That was the first year. And it wasn't, it, it wasn't fully dark, I don't think. Then. Not for the first uh, number of nights you'd have. It was at 5.45 p.m. just right. uh, at dusk, and it was gorgeous. And I think that would have been nice if they continued that tradition. But I guess with the daylight savings time, it would have switched anyway. So it, you know, I think uh, even though it's a nice thought, I don't know if it's practical. For the first week or so, it would have been nice again. But Also new, we went to the very first uh, Mickey's Very Merry Christmas party. And the and second. The second. And, and the this, third. Uh, <laughs> well, the up. third will be tonight, yes. actually, as we record this. But this is a brand new show called Celebrate the Magic, which debuted at the, the uh, Christmas party number two. I wouldn't call it all new, though, because there's a lot of elements taken from uh, Magic Memories and You. Right, correct. Very similar, um, especially the holiday segment. Well, this is the, the Magic. Same memories but without you yes there's no uh, peop- no faces or <laughs> pictures from people throughout the day which i think everyone likes that part better and I think this is a nice show, but I don't think it's as good as the uh, the magic memories in you. To me, the music and a lot of the effects were were better. Right, and here's Walt. I do like this. I, I do think too. There are elements of this that I really like, and what we did, of course, is we put all the good elements into this. Uh, some uh, of our favorites. Right. And um, I, I still think it's a strong show. But um, when asked many times if I like this or magic memories in you better, I, I think emotionally I like. The former. To me, it all comes down to the music. I think the magic memories and you, the the music was very memorable. And this music, I, I you know, as we're recording this, I don't, I don't know. Remember I have it. no idea what the music was. We have the full version. Uh, on. Yeah, be sure to check out the full version on the uh, at the show notes. And there's uh, no Tangled scene. I mean, they recreated some scenes, but Tangled was not one of them. And that was, I thought, the most emotional. But less to uh, I like this part. Oh, the yeah. Cheshire Cat. Yes, I like that too. I and mean, again, there are very cool moments. We, mm-hmm. I like the show. I'm not saying I dislike the show. I just prefer the music from the original show better. I don't know if everybody remembers, but there's almost like a crescendo in Magic Memories in You where everybody's like... It sort of, <gasps> yeah, builds up to... Right, to the, and it's like, boom, you know, but you don't really have that I kind of miss the Buzz Lightyear moment also. It, it's This one's not quite as good as that one. Because you still have the Buzz Lightyear, but not to that extent. Oh, here we have the circus. I like this. I mean, I think this is nice. It's, it's certainly fitting. much it's more fitting colorful. after the storybook circus just opened, so it's nice to have that in there. And you have Dumbo coming up. There's Dumbo, and, and that means... everybody's favorite part is coming next, Wreck-It, Wreck-It Ralph. Ralph. Yeah, we love the Wreck-It Ralph. It, it, the castle has turned into a video game. But, I mean, it, obviously it's... I'm no, going to wreck it. I'm going to wreck it. Nobody knows how... He's in, wrecking the castle. ...in like three or four months how Wreck-It Ralph will be... Wreck-It Ralph know, will huge. do huge. I, Wreck-It, Wreck-It Ralph's going to be huge. Be a I know, hit. I know. You are, you're going down he's the wrong path. He's already a giant hit. See, he's doing a giant hit right there into the castle, and he's going to knock it down. And a, a friend of ours, uh, Daniel, said, you know, they don't really play with a castle as much. You don't see the balls coming out of the castle. and You just wrecked the castle. Yes, but it, Game it, over. it's not quite as impressive as I don't as know. I like former. that segment very I much. do like the segment. I love the segment. That's one of my favorites. Okay, what's next? I don't remember. This it looks like the holiday segment. Ah, the segment, holiday, the Christmas segment. Which, which reminds me of the former Magic Memories and You holiday segment. It's very similar. Yeah, it, it's pretty much the same. I think Some of it is. It's very, very similar. 
Uh, I will put a link to the last year's uh, holiday segment. So if you'd like to compare, you can compare. And if you look very carefully coming up, you'll see the old the 25th, 25th anniversary ca- mm-hmm. castle, which is kind of cool. Just like with MMY. It's just about to there come. There it there is. is. <laughs> that ugly. I hated the castle. And there's a gingerbread. There's a gingerbread. You want to eat that? <laughs> I remember when they had the twenty, the real twenty fifth anniversary castle, and I thought it was the most hideous thing. It's fine for a second on the castle, but for a year and a half, it was not fine you for see, me. see, I loved it. You loved it. I, I did not I love it. I was one of the few people that liked it. I even bought a number of shirts with Looked that. Looked like uh, somebody puked no, big gumdrops no, no, no. all over the castle. It was temporary. A year and a half. It was a year and a half. That's temporary. That's not that temporary. But, At least uh, it didn't go on well, as long as Well, here comes Mr. Claus. Mr. Epcot. Claus is going to go across the castle now. Wait, I think he just did. I, I missed him. I missed him during it, too. Are you sure? Yeah. No, it, it happened. It happened. Oh, oh, oh this brave. is one of my... I, I like the brave scene also uh, with, with Merida. I think Tangled would have been uh, more, even more emotionally. But you can't have everything the same, I suppose. I mean, no. I understand. I like I love the, the, the idea that they're changing it up, though, and doing new things. You don't and want I it to love, be the same. And I love Brave, and I love Merida. So um, this is, actually was one of my favorite scenes. So if you had to have Brave or the Merida, and you can only have one. Brave or Merida? I'm sorry. Brave, brave or, or Tangled? Or tangled. tangled. Right, that's what I meant. I would take Tangled. Okay, here is the... Peter Pan... This oh, is okay. Walt. Yes, this yes, is yes. why this you is held on to right, it. Was right. uh, and I like that um, they've uh, honored Walt so much with with this show, just like with with the previous one. Right, and I think th- this is sort of the uh, the world, world of, of color, color tribute here, which is pretty cool. I mean, that the castle looks beautiful with this. And I agree with that. I think uh, it's very vibrant. The colors are amazing. So it's a strong show. It's a it is a strong show. And I, I would not want to not have. A traditional fireworks show and have it be replaced by a projection show no. i like that that we have a projection show and a traditional full-fledged fireworks show i agree so with that's, that that's that's a very good good aspect of it all right so we're back to the party this is the first night and it is mickey's very merry, merry no, no it's not it is not. It is time once upon parade. a Christmas time parade. <laughs> <laughs> once upon a Christmas time parade. Oh, we're tired. Christmas. It's been a long week. Yes, it has been a very long week. It hasn't changed a lot. Look at all these lot. characters. And it's snowing. It is. I like the snow, even though it's not real snow. It is? What do you mean it's not real oh, snow? Oh, it's bubbles. It's snow. It's, it's and so. here is the big cheese and the uh, the, mo- the Minnie Mouse and, and we're Duffy. Sort, we're sort of teasing this right now because we're going to do a lot more with the Mickey's Very Merry Christmas Party next week uh, when we have more time. Yeah, yeah. We'll, we'll have gone to three parties at least by then. And they've been all sold out, so it has been so crowded. And tonight is sold out, too. Tonight is three sold out. in a row. And that never happens at the beginning of the season, so it's been packed uh, we ran from Gaylord Palms out the first night at like 9.30, and it didn't seem so bad. But So you'll probably have noticed there was a change. The uh, logo float was not leading off the parade, and uh, as you'll see, it, uh, it'll show up later. And here is Scrooge McDuck, which I was so excited. You actually found him at I midnight found him. in well, Fantasyland. 1159. Scrooge I was walking McDuck. through Fantasyland and I found Scrooge McDuck. I was so excited. I don't think we've ever seen him, not recently, uh, meeting in the parks. We have, but not in quite some time. We found him at Fort Wilderness a year or two back. I got a picture with him. You did? He didn't have his I money I was not bag, with though. you. I was sitting down eating apple slices. And here are the toy soldiers. I love the toy soldiers. What a, what a view this is. Can't I like that the toy soldiers are one of my favorite and the uh, reindeer. Oh, yeah. I love the reindeer. And there's two different types of reindeer, you know. There's the Disneyland reindeer. Which Don't they are, have longer tongues? Or yeah, something? they ha- well, no, no, no. These ones, the, the Florida ones have the tongues. The new ones are more, I don't know, sculpted faces. We need to get back to Disneyland, though, for Christmas because I love, I love Disneyland. I love that parade, for, too. I hope next year we can get, get back there. And uh, here he is. It's Mr. Claus himself, Santa Claus. Uh, ending up the parade. Well, he usually totally ends a parade, but not this year. Right. This year, there's something new. They have the, uh, I call it the logo float. This is the sign float that usually leads off the parade that says, Mickey's Once Upon a Christmas Time Parade. And I think it looks better in the front. I mean, that's what you kind of think too, right? Well, it works better. It sort of announces what you're about to see, like at the Halloween uh, the um, Boutiou Parade. Right. They have a logo float in that one as well at the beginning. So, you know, here we have, there it is, but it's at the end of the parade. So I guess what they were going for is to tell you what you just saw. 
perhaps? I don't know. I don't know. I think uh, it looks better in the front because you're sort of welcoming the parade. But it was kind of cool to see all the characters at the front, right, too. Right, so right. I mean, it, it's different. Way. It's different. It's the biggest change uh, from this year's parade as far as I could see. Now, we Gaylord go Palms. to Gaylord Palms. We had a wonderful staycation at Gaylord Palms. And they invited us for a familiarization trip. I've done that before as a travel agent and uh, when I was a... a a DRC, a Disney Reservation Center uh, agent. And now we're in Mary Madagascar. This it's is ice. ice. And ice is a balmy, cool... Nine degrees. Nine degrees. So we are all wrapped up in uh, various layers of clothes and gloves and everything else. And, but it's uh, it's wonderful. And if you're going to do ice this year, and I highly recommend it, uh, definitely bring gloves and uh, see the shows. There's so much to see here. Yeah, it's not just ice. I mean, ice is probably the uh, the weenie, the castle. Oh, of course. But uh, there's a lot more to see than I that, that just ice, and we'll get into that and more. And there's two million pounds of of ice here and it includes the ice slides too. Oh boy, we love the ice slides. We're about to go for a little <laughs> ride on the ice slides and you must be careful. You want to make sure your parka is under your rear end or you will have a ice butt. So, uh, <laughs> And this is such a unique thing uh, here in Florida. You can't find anything like this. And here we go. And this is actually me. I'm trying to get started here. And uh, I love the ice slides. We have to go back. Yes. And here we go. I we got some go speed. Back. I got some speed up here. It's a lot of fun. Very fast. And then... Uh, you did good with that one. <laughs> no no getting stuck or anything. I didn't get stuck really at all. I mean... I got stuck a few times. But I, I slid, so, slid so fast several of the times. But it, it sort of uh, warms you up when you keep running up the stairs to go down the ice slides. And I highly recommend also watching Mary Madagascar. It's just 22 minutes, and that gives you an idea of what you're seeing in the in the ice this year. Right. It was nice. They sent us the uh, DVD, so we were able to watch the movie before going to ice, and it all made sense. You know, I knew why Santa had the bump on his head. Right. I knew what everything was, and they kept this in. The traditional nativity. The only thing is you can still hear Mary Madagascar in the next room, so... But it, it is still beautiful. This is crystal clear ice. It's a special kind of ice. And, it, and these it's rails, gorgeous. I noticed they have these uh, rails to prevent people from walking on the ice. In previous years, I saw uh, kids actually go up onto the nativity scene. So it's I probably a good that. idea that they have that. Oh, it's Gingy. Gingy. Jeff loves Gingy. I, I love, love Gingy, Gingy. too. Gingy. Oh, we had so much fun with him. This was another thing we did. We were able to make gingerbread, a gingerbread house with right, our group. Right, just a small ornament. But the best part about it is, I mean, <laughs> Gingy hangs out. And well, we, we weren't doing so well with our we ornament. Know. So I went down I and really asked do Gingy for his assistance because who better to help us? So Gingy sat down, <laughs> took one look at our ornament, and he's saying, it's, no. hopeless. <laughs> it's hopeless. I said, is there any way we can make this uh, good and... Uh, he danced. Yeah, so he decided to do <laughs> Gingy style. Some some uh, young lad asked him if he knew uh, Gangam style or whatever you pronounce it, but uh, no, he knows Gingy style. And we mentioned earlier that there's so much more to do and see here than just ice, which is, again, the biggest part of it. Like penguins. Like penguins. And this is part of your ice ticket. You get to go meet the penguins I love from the Madagascar. Penguins. And there's their scene from Madagascar when they crash the plane there. So I love the penguins. I love them, too. I love all of the characters. Um, you know, the DreamWorks characters are a lot of fun. Oh, and this is a view from the balcony of our room. And I... I would never go back to not having an atrium view <laughs> again. I just love to be able to look out. And we saw uh, the Christmas tree. There's two million lights, over two million lights at Gaylord Palms, which is like a theme park. That's you know? a lot that's, of lights. I mean, this is a, a resort hotel, but that's that's a theme park amount of, of lights. What it's other amazing. resort have you ever heard of that had two million lights? And, you know, including in front and throughout the whole resort. I actually like to just open the, the curtain and look out from the bed at the uh, all gorgeous. the lights at night. Absolutely it's beautiful. gorgeous. And um, there are like four different shows, including the tree lighting. And this is Luminescence, which is my favorite. Right. Show. I'm, a, I'm a fan of the Trans Siberian Orchestra, and these guys play those type of songs. You know, the rock mixed with Christmas. And look at, the, I mean, uh, there's the drummer in the air. It's spectacular. I, I enjoyed it very much. And the, this is part of the ticket also. So you could spend hours and hours at Gaylor Palms. You could also, you know, get the DreamWorks Experience package, the Christmassy DreamWorks Experience. We had an awesome time. 
Now we're off to SeaWorld where they, or IAPA actually, this is the IAPA Expo, and uh, they announced the brand new ride and vehicle for Antarctica. Empire of the Penguin. Right, so uh, they're about to uh, bring in a penguin for us to look at, and then we're going to cut away, and Denise will be doing an interview. You can set it up. Go ahead. Oh, I talked to Brian Morrow, who's creative director for SeaWorld, and we asked him some questions. In the vehicle. In the vehicle. In the, here in we the go. Vehicle. Hi, Mouse Steps. It's Brian Morrow again, and today it's not turtles, it's actually penguins. And today at IAPA, for the first time ever in the world, we revealed the world's first trackless mobile simulator ride system, which will be the heart and the soul of the new attraction, Antarctica Empire of the Penguin. Can you tell us about the attraction? I can tell you, um, I can tell you that this attraction will allow our guests, and more importantly, their families, to have an adventure of a lifetime. It will be a thrilling, exciting ride experience through the epic world of Antarctica. What about the ride vehicle specs? Uh, I ever see these speakers. What, what is about the ride vehicles that you can tell us about themselves? Well, a, a couple things. Uh, most notably, as we sit here and look at the ride vehicle, we have a very low cabin profile. This ride is not a dark ride. Most of you may be familiar with dark rides. They have, they have restricted views. We want you to look here. We want you to look here. We built some of those as well. This ride has none of that. This ride is all around the guests, and it has a low vehicle profile to allow all of our riders, no matter how tall they are, to have the best view possible of Antarctica. Also, the ride system has a lot of variability built into it. Our guests will ride a couple different ride paths through Antarctica, so every time they come back, you never know what ride you may get. with you on the brand new expansion, the world's first, largest expansion in our history, SeaWorld's Antarctica Empire of the Penguin. Talk to you guys soon. As I said, it was a really busy week, but next week we'll have much more Gaylord Palms, more uh, Very Merry Christmas Party, more Christmas, more SeaWorld and Cri SeaWorld Christmas. Yeah, I mean, it's just a crazy busy time around here. Uh, we also want to thank our sponsors, Theme Park Connection and Winter Garden Florida. And Maple Leaf Tickets. Yeah, so again, it's been a crazy week. We're sorry about the uh, delay for the show. We'll be back on track next week with tons and tons and tons of Christmas goodness. You had to cut this down from 40 minutes. Yes, yes. <laughs> Thanks, everyone. We'll see you next week. Bye.